I've been standing by you. I've been right here with you, Troy. I got a life too. I gave 18 years of my life to stand in the same spot with you. Don't you think I wanted other things? Don't you think I had dreams and hopes? What about my life? What about me? Don't you think it ever crossed my mind to want to get to know other men? That I wanted to lay up somewhere and forget about my responsibilities? That I wanted someone to make me laugh so I could feel good? You're not the only one with wants and needs, Troy. See, but I took my feelings, my wants, my needs, my dreams, and I buried them inside of me. I planted a seed and I, I watched and prayed over it and waited for it to bloom. Buried myself inside of you. And it didn't take me no 18 years to find out the soil was hard and rocky and wasn't never gonna bloom. But I held on to you, Troy. I held you tight. Because you was my husband. I owed you everything I had, every part of me I could find to give to you. And upstairs, in that room, with the darkness falling in on me, it took everything I had to try and erase the doubt in my mind that you wasn't the finest man in the world. And wherever you was going, I wanted to be there with you. Because you was my husband. Because that's the only way I was going to survive as your wife. See, you always talking about what you give and what you ain't got to give. But you take too. See, but you take and you don't even know nobody's gift. 